sharp knife, a good sized skillet, a nice big pot, a strainer, a big spoon for stirring, a non-stick pan, a can opener, one can of cream of mushroom, and then one can of cream of chicken, some boneless chicken breast, two bags of mixed vegetables, one bag of broccoli, and one bag of corn, and last but not least, two boxes of two nine inch pie crusts. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is take a few of the chicken breasts out of the bag and thaw them up. So we have already done that step because it takes a nice amount of time. You know, we did that step off camera, but it's pretty simple. Uh, I'm sure most people know already. You just put the chicken in the water and let it thaw up. So anytime before I get ready to cook, I like to clean my hands really well. And I usually don't cook in my wedding ring and band, but for today's purposes, I will. Let's get cooking. For right now, Babe is behind the camera, but he is going to come on camera and help me once I get this first step going. So we've gotten our chicken all thawed up here. Well, I always let him pick how much meat, you guys. Me, personally, I feel like this is going to be too much chicken. Look at it. That is protein right there, babe. Oh my gosh. That's gains, babe. That's gains. Oh my goodness. So. further break it into smaller little pieces because this is going to be in a pot pie so you don't want like big old chunks of chicken right nobody wants that take this chicken and put it over here in that skillet. I like to have nice sized chunks but not like too huge. Like I said, it's for inside of a pot pie so you want to be able to taste it but within reason. Touching raw chicken if you can't tell by the way I'm like <laughs> <laughs> hate it but anything that seems like it's too difficult to cut I usually just assume it's fatty and leave it be some of y'all are probably gonna be like girl you're throwing away pretty good chicken <laughs> So whenever I get done handling the raw chicken, I immediately have to wash my hands, you guys. I don't know, you can see how soaked up they are, but I like to clean my hands and get all of that rawness off. I don't want to spread salmonella around my kitchen, possibly. And I'm going to show you guys the next step while Babe takes over cutting the last piece of chicken because he feels like I cut all the meat away. You like this perfect? He's a good nice shall my skillet on medium heat and then you can see down here my chicken is starting to cook I just kind of toss it a little bit as it gets closer to you know each side getting a little more brown now you don't want to get it too brown because it's gonna cook more when it goes into the actual oven so we're just trying to get it lightly brown 
So while I work on this, Babe is gonna get our stuffing ready. You got all your supplies there, huh? I sure do. Alrighty, so we're gonna sit this here so you guys can see both of us doing our preparation. So first thing you're gonna do when you're making the broth, or what is it called, the yeah, stuffing? Yeah, yeah, it's like stuffing or yeah. broth. Oh my God, baby, you're so tall, you're not in it. <laughs> you gotta bend down and tell them. So first thing. <laughs> so first thing you're gonna do when you're making this broth is ask your wife, what do I do? Okay, so. <laughs> Babe is in here cooking with me today because you guys wanted a cook with me with both of us, we're assuming, but honestly, baby, the kitchen is my domain, um, mm -hmm. so baby, he really doesn't do much cooking in here, but he's still a good sport, he's still in here, you know, learning and helping me, so I appreciate that, babe, but that's why you guys are getting most of your directions from me, because I am the cook, okay? Alright, so baby, what you want to do is open all of your bags of vegetables and pour them in one by one. Okay. Seems simple enough, yeah. Well, I can't. It won't rip? Mm. Let me see it. It says tear here. <laughs> you got rid of the tear part. Yeah, I got rid of the tear part. Usually, though, maybe right here, you just mm. rip it, just like that, mm. and pour it in. I think we will need a knife for that one. Uh. Boom, there we go. I don't know the vegetables we're giving the trash trouble. Okay. Now, full thing of corn. This has a nice tear on it. It does? Yeah, so. Okay. Yeah. Alright, and then your broccoli. And then you guys, here's what my chicken is looking like. So you see how it's pretty like, you really don't see any raw areas, but there are a couple areas that are still like a little pink. So that's what I'm watching for. And then you can go ahead and put your cream of mushroom in your cream. So we like to rinse the tops of our cans. shortly I'm gonna get ready to strain it my strainer yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. so just get down in there yeah so you gotta well so <laughs> you're like what well, let's well. do it well I don't want you to chop up your broccoli but you're doing pretty good so you just kind of Swirling it around. Bring it around town. Yeah, like SpongeBob. Bring yeah. it around town. Babe, will you um pick it up so that they can get a view from this side maybe yeah. so they can see better? Okay. Just wanna mix that up all nice and I will put the heat a little bit higher just so that the vegetables will cook down a tiny bit so they're not quite so tall. And you see how it's kind of like sinking down into there. So this is what's going to fill our pot pie. I always feel like this part looks delicious enough by itself. So, and then look over my chicken. You see my chicken is done. Uh -huh. So I'm just kind of stirring it up. 
while being careful not to chop up my broccoli. And babe is the one giving you guys this angle, so shout out to him. It's a good angle, baby. All right. So, that looks good. And I, again, it's up to you. I like to just let it cook a little bit, but my chicken is done. And I don't want to neglect my chicken, so I'm going to, I've turned it off. And now I'm going to get my strainer. Come over here. Pour my chicken in here. Toss it a little. We don't put any extra seasoning on this chicken. No, we don't. I'm just going to add the chicken in. Okay. Like so. And stir it in there. So the chicken has already pretty much been cooked is the idea, right? So that's what we are wanting. And then as I stir this, you guys will see it become a little more like what you're probably used to seeing when you think of a pot pie. the consistency of it some people like for their pot pie filling to be like a little more on the thin side uh, and some people prefer it the other way so for our pot pie I like for it to have a little more thickness to it not so thick where it's gonna be dry but also not so thin to where it's running out of the crust so that's how I came up with this consistency that you see here this actually cooks really well and it comes out um, I feel like it comes out perfectly. What do you think, baby? I think it looks good. <laughs> so that's all of our chicken and veggies and stuff in there. So I'm going to leave this going on. It's like just a tiny bit below medium because I'm not trying to cook it, cook it, right? Because we're going to put it in the oven. But I do want to go ahead and prep my crusts. So we're going to do that now. Okay. So we have our pan. What I want to do is line my pan. So first I'm taking my pie crust out and like we told you in the beginning, it's just two nine inch pie crusts. So you can use however many or however little you want to. So you end up with four rolls. And just because I'm such a, a like a germaphobe, I'm going to wash my hands again. I wash my hands probably a million times while I'm cooking, you guys. Don't judge me. And don't judge our pots either. We're just starting out, okay? We're gonna get new, like better pots later. We're not gonna judge our pots. They might. Who judges pots? Okay. I love these. They're so cute how they just kinda unroll. So this is a non-stick pan and I've actually tested it out. Again, my mom was like, you have to get one of these non-stick pans, so. That's how I ended up with this one, and it does work. So what you want to do, this is pretty much the foundation of our pot pie, right? So that's what this is going to come into. Okay. Delicious. You have to be careful when you're unrolling it because you don't want it to like break. Or you want to, you know, you don't want to puncture it or anything. So then I'm gonna lie this other side. Just kind of play around with it and see the way it lies the best. Do it like that. Okay, so here's what I see. There's extra on this side, so I'm gonna pull it over a little. gotta play around with it a little bit guys all right so now it is time to add in the stuffing 
or the filling, whatever you want to call it. So I'll just kind of bring it over. Pour it in. Try to make it pretty even. I try to do it um, for the most part in the middle-ish. <laughs> Baby, you really get those angles. I uh, you know I do. It helps because what's a video without good angles, right? Yep, you're right, babe. It's really just me checking you out while you're cooking. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Always ready. You smell it, baby? I do. <laughs> gonna turn that off and this is what we have this is what we're working with so now we're gonna close it up I come over here oh and I need to go ahead and preheat my oven to 350 okay 350 So you want to get those corners good like that where pretty much as most of it as as you can get covered it's covered it's okay if that little corner sticks out now I am still learning but you guys when my mom makes this thing like it's perfectly covered and everything. The practice makes perfect, right? Mm-hmm. Perfect practice makes perfect. <laughs> it doesn't really matter that, you know, you have like two on top of each other or whatever because it's all gonna cook together. So it doesn't matter. And you can even like tear it and put pieces places if you wanna do that, but I feel like this will be just fine. Like say if I wanted to, I could take a knife and like slice that little part there and cover that corner. Would you like me to do that, babe? No, just get this thing in the oven. <laughs> All right. Well, we've got to now slice the top so that we can let the heat in. So this is one of babe's strange knives but it works so i'm gonna do about four big slices across now don't be you know scared to cut it open be generous with the cuts you really want to get it sliced open so that you can get down in there and then some pieces may come off and you can just put it in the corner. See, what did I tell you? You didn't have to do that after all. Because <laughs> it's all going to cook together, I'm telling you. Like that. And then slice it. So you want to be able to see your stuffing down there, is the idea. And one more. So this is what we end up with. And oh <laughs> all right. Now it's time to put it in the oven. Looking good guys. So we wanna cut that there. Our work here is not done yet. It's time to do the dishes.
quite a bit to go. But you can see kind of how it's starting to melt into itself. You see that, baby? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Looks good. And this is the finished product, you guys. So we hope that y'all enjoyed our little cook with me. Let us know in the comments down below if you guys want us to do more of these with some of the different things that we make. Yeah. All right. Let's try this out. It's probably one of the best Mountain Dews I've had. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cause it tastes like grape juice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Not much in the vitamin department, but it's tasty. Well, good. So <laughs> thumbs up from you. Perfect. <laughs>